the Fianto of Indonesia well they've called the start of the match but of course we have music playing in the background we certainly can't have this I can see the officials down at the tournament referee table everyone seems oblivious to the fact that matches are ready to start quite extraordinary Both players, Jill, you know, they just want to get on with a match, and the last thing they want to do is hang around, wait for the music to be turned off. Well, the crowd voicing their disapproval. Yes, well done. They get a little applause for finally remembering to switch off the music. Darren, I don't know if you could see from your commentary position, but just down to my right, Decatur warming up while the mixed doubles final was on. He looks so eager. He's come out. I think he's still in that frame of mind. Yes, yeah, so, you know, I think he really wants to prove everyone that he's capable of winning a big championship. And we all know he is capable, but he just he's got to go out there and do it. But as you say, he started this, you know, on the first point, he's let up, he's hit a winner and twisted up straight away, so you know he's, he's keen on this. Love hitting long of that back line I'm not sure whether that's because they're aware of how good the other is from the back the shuttle is playing slightly fast keep an eye on that yeah we'll, we'll have a look at you know also they've both just started they want to try and settle down so as you say the last thing they want to do is start hitting the short length so the other one gets their confidence All good. Yes, I mean, Peter gave really in trouble there. He's done so well to dig it out. Correct call. Look at Solomon. Love. Sweet. As you can see here, Chen Hong, so fast coming into that, and I think it's going to be a big part of the game, the net play today. You know, they can't afford to hit the short length to give the lift away, so they're both going to be looking for that, get them early, get the lift themselves. Ah. Uh, Darren, just proving your point. A battle at the net, that occasion won by Peter Gaida. Chen Hong then, he, he could have pushed it at Peter, decided to just play it off, a little loose one to the net, Peter was taking it too late to get it back. I've noticed, even in these very early stages, Darren, that Peter Gator is hitting quite flat, and that last one he hit higher and it gave Chen Hong obviously the opportunity to take the winning match. That's right. I mean, Chen Hong's going to be looking for this 
you know, to get the lift because he's so explosive up there, you know, he's, he's been hit, oh. tremendous angles and tremendous smashes. So Peter Gayson will perhaps try and keep it a bit flatter, you know, play to the net more to try and take that away from him. The lift from the net from Gator was was of a good length and severely punished by Chen Hong. Whereas Vita is nowhere near the back of the court. Oh, that's clever. Yeah, great deception from Chen Hong then. You know, it, it came from the flick of the net, which caught Peter out, but he comes to the net, turns his wrist at the last moment, and pushes it straight down the line. It's the sort of game Chen Hong's going to be playing. He's going to be looking for that spin at the net. Get that high lift. You know, great spin there. Look at the length on it from Peter. Very short. Great execution by Chen Hong then. say, Darren, that when I was watching Peter earlier in this World Championship, I was something desperate and nervous, especially when he played the Malaysian League, Sun Seng, he was 59, that decider. Yes, and also, you know, when he was he was playing a team event, and Seven. as you say, I think he was 14-5 up, and uh, you know, he just sort of stopped on the game, he, he hung back a little bit there, instead of keeping the, um, the pressure but um, you know, Chen Hong got to a very good start here. Wide. Well, having been one four down, Chen Hong. 8-4 up, and this is so typical of Chen Hong's style of play. Can play in fits and starts. In. Yeah, that's what Peter Garner needs. He's, he's hit a couple out the back, but this time he's, he's fine in his length now. Darren, I'm not convinced that Peter Gator is moving as well in these championships as, it, as I normally expect to see him. Yeah, well, I think sometimes, Jill, when you, you know, you're a little bit nervous and a lot of pressure on you, you do tighten up in your movement and you're not quite as flowing and relaxed as you, you normally are. And I think that is the case with Peter Gator at the moment.
Yeah, and it, I can just sense that Peter is very aware of the problems that he lifts to the back of the court. That was a very tentative sort of push towards the back of the court and hitting it wide. Oh, that's in. Yeah, that's better from Peter Garner. Puts his chin on wide his forehand corner, switches direction to the backhand corner. Again, Peter Garda trying to pull him cross court. You know, it was a right shot, but he just didn't quite give it enough. Do you think the longer rallies will suit Gator more? Yes, I think it will. I think it will settle him down more. Um, you know, hopefully trying for, for him to knock the edge of Chen Hong's power because Chen Hong, you know, is very good at short shot stuff. You know, if it comes up short, he's more or less going to bury it. So I think that, you know, if Peter Garda can prolong the rallies, I think it will help him. an aggressive, positive rally from Peter Gator. Excellent smash from him, but look how quick he is coming to the net there. Has to go down as an unforced error. Yeah, he really, you know, it was too flat. He wasn't in balance to hit that shot. It was the wrong shot to play at that time. Oh, it's on the line. And Hong slicing across the shuttle. It down so steeply. Seven, nine. Yeah, great shot from Peter Gala, straight from serve. Pushed it at the birdie of Chen Hong. Chen Hong reacted, got it back, but Peter Gabe was there again at the net. And here we see Chen Hong going up again, but this time choosing to play at cross court. He's got such a good variety from that position. Chen Hong won three career titles, but never won as big as this. Oh, over. Seven, nine. Well, Peter doesn't like the fact that Chen Hong was calling. Yeah, 
anything on par. It's only a word with Chen Hong saying, don't call the shuffle, leave that job to the lines person. Wide. The deception on the flick serve, deceiving Peter Gader. Yeah, Peter Gader's, you know, he's, he's been coming in very quick on top of the serve. I think Chen Hong noticed that. Good tactic. Just flicked over his head, called a Peter Gader out. One of the very few occasions that Chen Hong has not got behind his smash. Moving backwards to play that one. That's why he made the error. Line judge. Changing her mind. Goodness me. Well, make up your own mind. Eleven, eight. Well, the Dane has got to put that line call out of his mind. Refocus. Yeah, that's clever. Change of pace. Exactly. Change of pace, change of direction. Mate Chen Hong, you know, yes, last moment, flick of the wrist, down to his backhand corner, it took the pace off and Mate Chen Hong, he had to do something with it. That's a wonderful play. How on earth did he get round the head to play that second smash from that position? Well, that is just incredible. Wide. And it's interesting, Darren, that Peter Gader is inviting his opponent to play the flat stuff. Yes, it, you know, it, it, you can tell there he was wanting him to play it straight from the word go. He wanted a flat rally. He feels he, he's got the better momentum at the moment. One point in it. Absolutely fantastic play from Peter Gay. Kept the pressure on with some fantastic net play. Got the lift. Took his chances going forward. Totally committed. 
and he's closed the three-point deficit. Eleven all in this opening game, the World Championship semi-final. Never went over the net. Surely. Oh. Chen Hon touching that, that must have been a fault. Yeah, and Peter Gay definitely thought that his racket was over the net then before the shot was being played. <laughs> Again, fantastic net play from both players in the end, Peter Gay. The spin of the shell just broken over the net, gets the short lift. are just minute hitting the line <laughs> that time no problem no controversy over the knockoff. Brilliant shot from Chen Hong. You can see at the moment, you know, they're having driving rallies. It's like a doubles game. Not one player wants to give the lift away. A super punch into the corner there. That's the one that did the damage. That's going to go long. Great shot. Such a difficult Whoa. shot to play. You know, he done one early on in the match where he turned his wrist and went straight down the line. That time, Peter Gates was doing the same thing, but the last push fence. No. That is just so clever, the way he works the rally. Yeah, that was brilliant, Joe. You can see the importance of the net now, but he, he hung up in the air, he put a soft drop in. Chen Hong done very well to get it back, but Peter Gay kept his patience. Another tight net shot, but this time a cross court smash. Very well worked rally from Peter Garda. Wow. 
maybe a slight hesitation from Cheng Hong forced him from there. Well, I think Chen Hong a little bit fortunate on that. I suspect that the smash would have gone wide had it not been deflected by the net board. Again, from Peter Gar there, we've seen hitting the line. Chen Hong's four inside, you know, two or three times. So accurate now. Well, it's quite clear what the name thinks of that. His trademark shot. Peter coming forward. Looking as if he's going to play to the net. Double action of the racket, sending it to the back of the court and sending Chen Hong in completely the wrong direction. Game point today. Well, we talked about nerves earlier on in the tournament. Chen Hong this time taking Peter on data at the net. He hasn't won so many today, but this one he was more positive and threatened the net. He'll be very pleased to have moved on from 11. Remember, he was 11 8 up at one stage. He's going to go low high. 13 14. Again, taking his chances at the front of the court, Peter Gator. Yeah, brilliant, brilliant play there. You know, drove it at Chen Hong. Chen Hong managed to get it back, but again, the shuttle came straight back at him. So, second opportunity to close out this open game. And the last time he served in the net. Chen Hong leaping up in his forehand corner. A perfect smash to the backhand of Peter Garda. if he wishes to set. Indeed, he does. First player to 17. Well, you can't help but think back to their encounter 
in the Sudama Cup semi-final last week. Hader was up in that one. Went setting the opening game, but he managed to secure it. Yeah, Peter Gold, a little bit lucky there. He played a hard shot on Peter Gold, but it just hit the top of his frame, taking all the pace off it. Chen Hong wasn't expecting it at all. to play on the defence from Chen Hong. And so Peter Gaida, the number two seed. His third game point. That's pushed long. The opening game to the number two seed, Peter Gaida of Denmark. Once again, as it did last week in the Sudaman Cup, going to setting, but safely through But Darren, we were able to listen to the Danish coach, Kenneth Larson, talking to Peter Gader in that 90-second timeout. Peter was talking back, sounded very upbeat. Yeah, but, you know, it's always good when the player's thinking of some ideas for himself. You know, if you sound the coach, I agree with what you say, but what about this? You know, so he's thinking about it, he knows what he's doing. He feels confident with his play at the moment. You know, he, he'll be... Very relieved to get that first one under his belt. You know, 14 11 up. Chen Hong got back to 14 all, but he took it free love in setting. So, you know, he, he'll be delighted with that first set now. Moving forward. Love two. And what the Dane has to do is just not try and do anything too fancy, not change the way he's playing at all. Just build on the confidence he's gained from the opening game. Yeah, Peter Gay just trying to take the pace off the driving rally then, but really he bobbed it up in the air at the net and Chen Hong so fast into that was able to kill that shuttle. great deal of success the Danish player coming in on his backhand side holding and pushing at his opponent yes yes he's keeping Chen Hong guessing you know, again there you see him change the angle push it straight at Chen Hong, Hong's body Starting to command the game now, Peter Gala, you know, playing good net.
Oh, that's brilliant. But I don't think we should write off Chen Hong yet. He has this ability to come back. He does play in fits and starts. We know that. Yeah, absolutely. Jill, we've seen it time and time again where we thought, oh, you know, his, his head drop is going out and all of a sudden he'll have a run of six or seven points. So uh, this is nowhere by near over yet. The umpire is saying the shuffle was in. The umpire cannot overrule a line call anyway in Babinson. The line judge's decision is final. I said on that backhand side, he was beginning to come in. That time, not just pushing it, came in and killed it. And Darren, I know you played against Peter Gaeta, and you believe that he's the fastest player in the world coming forward to the net. Yes, you know, we've seen many examples of him play here. You know, you can be on the attack against him. It will change the angle, then you'll be under pressure straight away. You think, okay, you know, get it back to net, you put it back to net, and he's there waiting for it. He's that quick on, in it? is making one or two errors at the moment. Yes, a little, little bit of a stalemate. I mean, from Chen Hong, that, you know, that halfway through the net that shot, really, you know. Six, one. Well, Chen Hong has had a wonderful fortnight here in Seville. He was chosen to represent China. Semi-final and final. Well, Darren, from where we're sitting, our commentary position, looking along the stands, and I can see the Danish players sitting behind the court, including Peter Gader's girlfriend, former world single champion, Camilla Martin. She can hardly bear to watch at times. Yeah, sometimes I think it's worse watching than it is playing. This time, Chen Hong not too happy with a line call. Eight one, having one first. No, no question about that. That was a tremendous smash. Hey. Chen Hong taking some time out now. You know, he's 8 1 down at the moment. He's, he's not in a position he wanted to be, and he's trying to compose himself again, get a few points back into this game. He doesn't seem to be able to. to hit the smashes that he did in the opening game. Now, that presumably is because Peter Gader's not allowing him to. No, I, I think Peter Gader's controlling this match at the moment. You know, he's, he's playing the net superbly. He's, he's, he's 
out driving Chenhong at the moment, keeping it a more flatter gun. Zane really not getting behind the shuttle on that occasion. As far as the European champion is concerned, he's got to drive home now. Exactly. You know, he's done it a few times with championships where he has got a lead and sat back. I'm sure he realises now, and as you saw there, straight from third, pushing one into Chenin's body. My goodness me. Well, that wasn't in, even inside the double sport. Superb. And he really is controlling the net now. Peter Gator. A hold and flick. Well, we know this man has the capability of coming back, but I just wonder right now, World Championship semi-final, whether in fact the spirit isn't going to drain from him. If it wasn't already, it certainly is now. As you can see, I think Peter Gard is just growing in confidence. The longer this game's going on, it's, it's just looking superb at the moment. That's wide. Well, well. Yes, I think Chen Hong sort of hoping a little bit. He's, he's, again, he's not quite leaping up as he did in the early days. Not quite in position. That one's gone wide. Now, just two points away from his place in the final. or never as far as Chen Hong is concerned. Again, this time you can see how focused Peter Gardo, you know, clenched fist after hitting a wonderful smash straight down the line. No, he really wasn't in position when he tried to play that. No, that's right, Jill. You know, he's just got to get himself here. Just be patient like he's been doing. Wait for the opening. You know, don't go for anything when he's not in position. He doesn't have to at this stage in the match. Well, under normal circumstances, you would say at this elite level of play, 13 down in the second, having lost the first, you're down and out. But I just think that Chen Hong, he has that ability to win half a dozen quick points. If he did that, then Peter Gator could start to get a little bit edgy. Yes, you know, they always say it's hard, hardest to win that last point. You know, Chen Hong could make a little push, you know, maybe the five or six. Sheer magic. 
I mean, we are really seeing Peter Gay at his best now. Everything he's doing is to perfection. You know, he's really chopping Chen Hong about. The last moment looks like he's going to smash it. A beautiful cut drop, Chen on backhand side, and really was nowhere near it. You can almost see the anguish that Peter Gator is going through. He knows he's so close to being in the final of the World Championships. Now he's done it again. Oh, that's incredible. Two rallies running. The same winning shot, the reverse slice drop shot. And just leaving his opponent standing. I think Peter Gard would be pleased it, it's not closer at this time. I, mean, I don't think the alarms, alarm bells will, will be ringing at the moment, but I'm sure if it you know, was six or seven or eight, it would be a different story, but he's got a very comfortable gap at the moment. Just wide. Well, he's hit a couple of drops at that time, choosing to smash. It does mean that his opponent has kept guessing the whole time. That time, no mistake, got right behind the shuttle to thunder down the smash straight at his opponent. And now... Peter Gader. Match point. He sinks to his knees. The sheer delight. Remember the heartache two years ago when he lost 15-14 in the semi-final. This time, he's gone at least one better. Peter Gator through to the World Championship final, 17-14, 15-2.